I want to share with you guys today some papers that I made and a project that I did using those papers. So a few days ago I was watching, I believe it was Jill Norwood was showing some digital papers that she had purchased off of Etsy and I've done that before as well as purchasing clip art and I really like, as a lot of you guys know, making my own clip art. So I thought I would give a hand at making my own digital papers. And I really like the way that this came out. So what I did was I took a music image and it was for the song La Vie en Rose. And I just, I got that image off the internet. And then I overlaid that using a photo editing package that I have on my computer. I overlaid that with some floral images and then the floral image that I put on top, I made semi-translucent so that you could see the music coming through. Oh, and you guys know I typically don't wear nail polish, but I have this sparkly nail polish on because my girls had a fancy schmancy party over the weekend and we were testing out the nail polish on mom. <laughs> so, but, and I, and then once I did, once I layered the papers, well, the images, I printed it out at Staples on 110 cardstock. But one of the things that I really like that I figured out, because you do have to be a little bit careful where you get your images from on the internet because some of them have copyrights and I don't think it would be any big deal for me using the papers at home in the way that I do because I don't sell anything. Um, however, some of these images, floral images, what I did was I searched vintage dresses dresses on the internet and I think I found these on Pinterest possibly, but what I did was I took the image of the dress and I cropped out the skirt part and enlarged it. So the floral pattern that you see on here, and this is the whole image right here, I put two on one sheet. Um, the floral image you see is actually a vintage dress. So it was a lot of fun to kind of search around because I love vintage things and use these um, vintage dresses as images to overlay over the music. So, and this is the one that I used in the project. I'll show you in just a minute, but let me show you the other images so this one was a it was like a light light uh, peachy pink vintage dress I really like that and I might mess around a little bit with how big um, I make these it fit you know one here and then almost like three quarters of one over here but I kind of have to I have to still work on the sizing um, this rose pattern was just one that I took off the internet as well as this and I printed this one in a darker version and a lighter version um, they didn't come out too too different but just a little bit so let me show you the project that I made I made this box to house a set of four three by three cards <clears throat> and I have a previous video on this box and a link to the tutorial but this is the card set that I made and I used <clears throat> excuse me I used a set of the scallop cards I think I got these last year at Michaels in the dollar section and the paper again that I printed was 110 card stock so it really gives the card some nice weight so there's the paper image and I used some canvas trim here and I stamped on the trim as well as this little Sizzix cutout with um, pink paint and a script stamp and then I put glitter over the paper piece and layered these trims and a clay flower that I had made and a couple of coordinating little flowers that I had purchased. And just use the same script stamp with tattered rose ink on the inside and added a little bit more of the paper on the back. And each card is very similar 
I tried to get some of the title of the song on each one. And then I also made, here's two more, um, I made some envelopes, coordinating envelopes to go with the cards. And then everything goes inside the little box. So it is Christmas Eve morning. Anya and I are home here fooling around. We are going to have a fairly quiet Christmas because my father-in-law is ill so he's not going to be coming over and we're going to miss him and it's also Mia's birthday she was born on Christmas Eve 17 years ago and she is out to breakfast with her dad so I uh, my girlfriend's coming over this afternoon I'm going to give her this so I wanted to make sure I did a video on it quick and I'll post this today and then um, just want to wish you guys all a very happy holiday, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.